there, friends. It's your it's your other friend, Arrow friend. Oh, that was a bad intro. <laughs> I'm trying to do different intros because y'all y'all like y'all like brought the sup fuckers back that I brought that back, and I could have said that better. But anyway, um, today I am building. I know I've said that oh I should be waiting until the list is done, but as long as I don't add anything to the list, I'm saying fuck it. Might as well like throw some different stuff. Today I have the Jaguar. Jaguar, Jaguar, however you pronounce it. Um, I'm gonna be saying Jaguar because that's how I was brought up to say it because I'm a filthy, filthy North American. Um, I have the XJ220, which is what I'll probably be calling it so the British people don't yell at me. Not necessarily in British Racing Green. I went a little bit uh, brighter, uh, more saturated color. Put some shitty sprites on it. And you might notice, if you are a fan of uh, another YouTuber, you might notice some, some choice stickers on here. Um, so, Jimmy Broadbent. Uh, I've talked about him before It sounds like I'm trying to a suck of the man's dick, but actually I'm just like really enjoy his content in his community um, And you know when you involve yourself in a community things happen to spill over um, Ended up I think it was in a Gran Turismo 4 stream. He was doing uh, Said that I should build a XJ220 drift car and I think he said it jokingly like I wasn't gonna do it well What up bitch? I haven't done anything to the car yet um, and this video is gonna be very content heavy in the sense that I'm gonna be sitting here tuning and making adjustments and it's not gonna be like oh I'm, I'm made the car hooray let's go like touch each other's buttholes um it's gonna be very like oh shit this doesn't work and then maybe I have to try this and maybe I have to try that mid-engine cars especially this one because it's got 355s on it um are gonna be a little bit difficult to build so I have ADV 5s on here they're in the sport or the multi-piece rim style and then they're 20s um, can I make them smaller? No, I- oh, yes, I can. Thank fucking God. Um, I normally limit myself to S-Class. I'm gonna try, um, but I may have to, um, go above that, but I'm gonna see if I can stay within my power limit. Uh, we'll stay on street tires for now. Like, this car is set up may change, like, 40 times, and people are gonna be mad at me because, like, oh, am I supposed to copy too? It's not about the destination okay it's about the journey stop fucking yelling at me and i'll f i don't know but um i don't know i just think it's a unique challenge it's it's something i haven't done before uh most of the cars that i've done so far have been pretty uh standard like not difficult and like pretty easy to do so uh we're on right excuse me hello that's race suspension um, I disagree with you. <laughs> um, you got race that, race that. Do we have a roll cage? Nope. Throw that roll cage in there. And then where does race weight leave us? Race weight. I don't think I pronounced that correctly. 2,700 pounds. That's a, not as light as I'd like it to be, but gosh golly darn heck, that's a good start. Uh, I'm just going to throw a power at it until we get to S800. Uh, and then we'll take it tuning from there and then again, just see what we can do. I have zero faith that this car is going to work uh, well in S800 um, trim. Um, it's also on low grip tires, but I figure it's got big ass tires in the back. So we might be able to counteract that with, you know, some 705 horsepower. Um, I wonder if I can leave it now. Uh, we're at 797. I don't really feel the need for more horsepower. So we'll leave it at 700. The 345s in the back, Jesus H. Christ. Um, so, I really hope I'm recording audio. Yep, we're good. Um, again, I'm just going to do what I think is right. I really, I like to say that I specialize in weird tunes, but I haven't done a mid-engine car in quite a while. Uh, normally, I just go, ah, oh, whatever, it's good enough. Um, but I really want to be able to make this car good. So, um, we're going to see, we're going to put on what I think is gonna work uh, just have to keep in mind where the weight is in the car um, what I normally do is I reverse what I do with the roll bars and it seems to work out uh, again this was on older cars and I really didn't I really want to make this car have decent um, so I'm gonna try and um, I'm gonna try and do my best to make it a good car I'm gonna slam this I don't want to fuck around with ride height right now uh, I might try that at another time but i really don't just i really don't want to mess with it um that and i just can't stand 
the ride height on this car it's way too high it looks like a monster truck um so i'm just again just i'm gonna keep all these backwards i don't know if this works again this works temporarily for cars that are like oh i'm gonna pull this out every once in a while um i haven't really sat down and tuned a mid-engine car probably since four is a four i mean you guys have probably seen videos of me doing it but i haven't really sat down and like all right this is what i'm gonna do like it's still so high up holy cannoli um i'm gonna bump up the air pressure and down uh we'll leave that i don't think that matters okay so this is version one uh ignore the paint i like i kind of like it uh, just because of the color and the, like i wanted to have some white in the vinyl somewhere uh, and i am not artistically gifted so i'm gonna go to catalonia national we'll start there and if the, if the car sucks we'll retune it and go somewhere else if the car sucks we'll retune it we'll go somewhere else but uh cat national is where i'm gonna start and we'll see you guys when we get there okie dokie oh my god is that what the front lights do on this car they like go down like the light covers oh it looks so fucking funky and like and not in a good way but uh whatever we gotta do what we gotta do i'm just gonna take a listen here not bad uh v6s don't tend to sound too good in this game they usually sound really generic but uh that's a good sound uh we're not gonna be able to pull sick entries in this car i don't think but uh again feels very nervous i don't know like what see here's the problem when i'm tuning uh, mid-engines a lot of things i just don't bother to try to tune out because i go well that's how the car handles like there's nothing we can do about that but uh, oh big snap over steer from the rear i'm gonna stiffen the spring rate in the rear i believe oh god the good news is i don't think we're gonna have to like re completely rebuild it like i think um we can stay within uh just move sliders around because i don't know what the fuck i'm doing i don't know i just i i feel like i've been kind of dishonest with you guys um when i'm like oh yeah i can tune mid engine front wheel drive not front wheel drive but uh i can tune anything but like when it comes to mid engine cars i kind of just get it feeling all right is it just me or is that stripe on the I lined up the fucking stripe on the wing for like a month, and it still looks wonky. Shoot me. But, um, if I can get this car to be usable and somewhat predictable, then I'm happy. That's my goal. Uh, if it's still, like, all over the place, then, like, I have failed and I have to keep working. Honestly, not bad as a start. I was thinking about putting the, the wing on it, but I really couldn't put myself to put the Forza wing on here. Uh, it's really just the end plates. If it was like a more of a big country labs or battle arrow looking wing, like as in it's a bit thicker, like a bit more aggressive, I may have done it just to be like, hey, look, it's just me being a hot boy. Um, but it just doesn't look good at all. And I don't think it's worth the practicality um, because what we are trying to do now, because the back end basically is where all the weight is. It's not as bad as a Porsche or something. Porsche. But oh, God. Oh, God. I just touched the gravel there. I thought I was like, oh, I'll ride the gravel. It'll look cool. And then I just touched the gravel and the car was like, mm, goodbye. Um, I think I'm going to fuck with the any roll bars. So maybe just like stiffer all around. Let's try that. Can't hurt. Because the front end's a bit twitchy and the back end is a bit loosey-goosey. Um, so we'll take that for a lap and see what happens. I also like how in a lap of this track you get a little bit of everything you get some big entries you get some like a fast corner and then there's a low speed section as well so and this is the best not counting the fact that there's a lot of elevation change this is probably a re like one of my favorite drive around and test rio is up there but i just don't think it the track's a little bit too low speed um especially if you're not wanting to use this car for tandem or competition um mid-engine cars in my experience, any engine that's not front engine, so mid engine and especially rear engine, are not great for tandem. Um, you could probably do it. I'm not saying it's impossible, but especially uh, rear engines, I have a hard time slowing the car down uh, while holding consistent angle. So if you guys can pull that off, then fucking go for it. Like, I'm not going to stop you, but um, I would, it is not recommended, let's say that. Um, so I'm not necessarily saying, hey, like, don't try. 
it's impossible. Like, if you want to make a uh, a GT2 Porsche, like Tyler Quarries, like the R Magic, uh, not the R Magic, it's a GIC Magic. It's like a hand cooked GIC Magic. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Um, someone will correct me in the comments. But uh, if you guys want to make a car like that, fucking knock yourselves out. But uh, I just don't think that they're they're a little bit tricky. Uh, I've never really had a car like a Porsche or something, or even like any sort of like wide tired supercar, um, such as this one. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, that's probably why it feels so good, is because there's so much rear toe, um, or feels not as crazy as I thought it was going to. Um, I'm just gonna try like making the anti roll bar is somewhat normal let's see what happens um it's just hard to slow down like let's i'll set off here again still mad that this car is as high as it is kick the clutch i was gonna say i'm not sure if this car had a clutch it definitely does because it's from like the mid 90s so let's say we are catching somebody and you would because these cars are so fast because the wide tire and all, uh, where all the weight is um, so where you'd catch someone is probably through here. And you gotta, like, send way forward. And yeah, just, like, it doesn't work with how the weight shifts. When you have weight over the front end in a front engine car, it's not so bad because then there's no weight over the rear and you just, like, gas it and send all the weight back. Uh, it doesn't work out as good, um, at least in my experience, with mid and rear engine, especially rear engine. Rear engine is basically a point and squirt. Like, once you have entered and you are drifting, you better hope that whoever's in front of you doesn't slow down or get in your way because you're going to hit them. Um, again, I'm sure there are people out there that are weird and, like, specialize in this drivetrain. Um, I mean, fair enough. Like, I really like drifting Porsches. So I can kind of see where you're coming from. But, um, you know, I just would not recommend it unless you're ready for a challenge and to run over your friends all the time. Or randoms online, depending on what you're doing. So, my brain is telling me to go to sport tires. And just to try it, because there's just it just feels like there's just not enough, just a little bit lack of grip. So, that'll be the really one change. So, I'm going to throw this on sport tires. Um, I might have to adjust the power. Oh, someone asked me in the last thing, how do I go to upgrades? Literally, you're on a free play menu, start race, and you just go over here to upgrades. It's very simple. Um, doo -doo -doo. So we'll go to sport tires. It puts us in our class. Again, let me say something. Some people give me shit because they're like, well, you shouldn't tell people what they can and can't run. I have never said that. I just said, uh, my, my, my real opinion is that being in our class is, is just making things way too easy and you're kind of a, a, a you know, it's a newbie mode. Uh, if you don't care and you want to run our class, I'm not going to be like, well, I don't like you. You're the devil. Like you won't be able to go in any of our open lobbies cause they're as class and below just cause that's the rules. Um, but you can have, like I have a 1000 horsepower Maserati. That's still an F class or an S class. Um, there's no reason your S 15 should be midway through our class um on the sun race tires whatever which are not competition legal so <laughs> yeah by the way this is not an esda legal car <laughs> so we're on sport tires now let's see what difference this makes it's already way more nervous than i expected it to be all right so there's more grip all around for sure, but is it worth sacrificing the driving feel? He says while pondering. I don't know if I can lay down like one half decent lap. I'm trying. I really am. Uh, also, guys, let me know how you want to see these videos. Should I condense them more? Uh, I'm still getting used to like live commentating. You know, I've did so many years of post commentary where I just sit there and try to talk about a car for six minutes. This is the first time where I'm like actually trying to tune um, on camera, and so you guys can all see it and uh, talk loudly. And obviously, I don't have a perfect commentating voice. I um and ah a lot. Uh, there's gaps. Uh, my brain is dumb and just like turns off halfway through. Whoa, the big flick um, turns off like halfway through sentences. So would you rather me just leave it uncut or would you rather me cut the commentary and like put jump cuts in the video? Um, 
Obviously, I'll cut out stuff like if I sit here and go off on a tangent about marshmallows. I don't think anyone wants to hear that, so I'll cut that out. But um, uh, and then I'll cut gaps. But I don't know. I just I thought that a heavily edited video was better, and then I a lot of content creators I watch uh, don't edit their stuff that much. So I don't know if it's just a thing that I like or if it's just better. But speaking of things I like, this is way better now. Uh, it definitely sucks because we put it on a grippier tire with less horsepower. Um, so, you know, that doesn't help. But um, the car overall feels much better. Uh, I'm just going to do my thing. I'm going to really bring these down. And by that, I mean like by a couple of ticks. So 1590 and 1530, 1597. Whoa, whoa, calm down there, big feller. I just wanted this to be a car that I can send in every, like, lobby once in a while, and then I'll be happy. Um, you know, I can't be a quote-unquote Jag Drifter and not have this. Uh, F-Type, a lot of people have requested an F-Type. That's coming eventually. I feel like F-Type is the obvious choice when you're thinking of, I want to make a Jag Drift car. So, um, you know, I will do that, and I'll make it ESDA legal, and we'll see how it compares to the XJ, um, or the XJ... This is the XJ, you fucking idiot. The XKR, I meant. Um, but I'm not in a hurry just because I feel like that car is going to be good. And there's no, like... Surprise. Okay, I think we've got it figured out. I think we have it dialed. Uh, again, it's just a little low on horsepower. Um, which is kind of unfortunate. But uh, we might up it just to make the car good. Because this car is not legal. You know, it's a supercar. I want to keep it... In S class, so I might just post the setup uh, within an S class if you want to keep it in S class. But I really think this with 700 horsepower. Oh, you saw that's a tire wall. I really think this with 700 horsepower is going to be good because I, coming up that hill, it just dies. And there's only so much making the gearing tighter can do and clutch kicking can do. But in terms of setup, um, I enjoy this. Let me just take like one lap where I really try to send it. And then we'll see if there's anywhere we can really fix it. But the car hasn't really stepped out on me. Um, I haven't really... Other than maybe... Oh, that was my own fault. Other than maybe like getting it to transition a bit faster, which is easy. I can just adjust the caster. Um, I haven't really gone like, oh man, I really need to change this. Man, if these were on th if this car was on 315s, we could, we could make this, we can make this happen. But all right, let's see if we can... Get a lap in here. So big angle oil. I washed out, but that's okay because that's just my own driving. It has nothing to do with the car. Uh, stay in the gas. We had dropped one tire, but that's okay. I meant to do that. Uh, washed out a little bit. It's fine. One tire on the green for style points. One tire on the grass for style points. E brake and foot brake to keep the car smooth. Bring it out to the green part. Perfect. Get an e brake to stretch out that drift a little bit. Tap the foot brake back on the gas. And then we'll see if we can ride the ride the outside here. Nope. Just pushed wide. Oopsie daisy. So I'm gonna tighten up fourth gear. Um, and then adjust some caster. Take fourth gear and then just make that a 0.256. Sure. And then caster will make it a six. And this should be good. Uh, I will go through this setup again. It's mostly I don't want to. Um, this is the last thing I'm going like, to talk about that's not the car. Hopefully. Um, and I'm saying this because I want to have a conversation with those who are doing it. I'm not trying to call you out and say, hey, fuck you, I don't like you. I just don't understand people that complain. You know, and I feel like they're not real... I don't want to say fans, but I don't. I don't want to say they're not real fans and not real like supporters. People that are like, oh, I didn't see the tune, or oh, you know, I didn't catch the tune. How am I supposed to copy the tune? Super GT posts videos all the time of cars that he's in, um, and does not post the tune. Uh, keep in mind, I think he's a bit more of an entertaining individual than me, um, you know. And he does like racing, and there's a bit more going on, so I guess he doesn't need to. But if if like, are, are you guys genuinely, like, here just to get tunes and then, like, maybe, like, enjoy my commentary in the background? Because um, if, you're, if you're here just to copy tunes, like, I, I don't know. That just kind of 
makes me sad because that means like I'm not doing a good enough job to make you guys like want to care about more than just the car. Like the car is obviously why you're here. Herb derp, it's a car game, but um, you know that's just my my two cents. I'm just curious as to what you guys, how you guys feel on the other end. Um, but anyway, finish the lap off here. It's not twitchy. It's not snapping. Uh, I think we got the front feeling the way we want it to. So actually, for what it is, again, I feel like you're not going to get a mid-engine car super duper smooth. But this is good enough for me to be happy. Um, I may take some spring rate out of the rear, just out of the front, just a little bit. And we'll go to Silverstone, I think is what I wanted to do. Um, full of full track, because we're just going to do a full track. Might as well. No point in doing the section, because that's kind of boring. Uh, even though there's multiple sections on Silverstone. I just want to see how this does. Enter the corner too early and understeer. Idiot. I think putting fourth a bit tighter helps just because this car is a twin turbo. Might have put us in the boost a little bit better. This car would have been legal in Forza 2 days, I believe. I think we're under 650. Just. Big angle. Let's see what happens. Okay, that wasn't the worst thing that could have happened. It didn't push wide like I wanted it to, but uh, the only thing I could have did to do that was hit the brake, so. And I'm going to try that, let's pretend we're tandeming thing, or I can just over-rotate in the corner, that's fine. Whatever. E either way. Yeah, you just got to be careful on the brake. The, uh, the brake pressure adjustment helps with that, but, um, so this is the setup as of now. Uh, so 29 and a half, 26 and a half, uh, the gearing, all I did was make it 3.9 and then I changed fourth gear, uh, 2.1, 0 0.8, 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 6 1597, 1531, uh, th that, <laughs> um, 5.87, 5.47, and then the brake adjustments was 48% to the rear, uh, to the front and then 82% pressure and then 96 and 83 in the dip. So I'm pretty satisfied. Uh, I don't think the car is perfect. I think I would add a little bit more horsepower to it, but unfortunately it's, it's, it's still, it's, it's, it's good enough. Um, and I know I said I wouldn't do that, but I mean like it's good enough as into where I can probably still drive it pretty well. Um, without having to go outside of what my quote unquote limitations are. I just want to see how much power it has. I forget the number Exactly. 626. That's really low, actually. Uh, or 636. So, yeah, this is definitely 100% legal within, like, the old Forza 4 um, 650 horsepower rules. So, basically, there was no tire rule. Um, you can just do whatever you want as long as it's under 600 horsepower um, and wasn't, like, positive camper. I think those are, like, really the only rules. And race tires. But let's go somewhere else. I'm going to go to full track Silverstone and... Uh, Okie dokes, this color looks really bad in the bright light. Like, very bad. <laughs> but, uh, it's what we have now. Anytime I try to make a paint, it just never turns out well. Uh, let's send it and see what happens. Very underrated track, Silverstone. I don't think I've ever seen the full layout in a, um, like a points drift lobby or whatever, but, like, I have a lot of fun driving this track. I was doing it the other day just for, uh, Screenshots, I think. Yes, for screenshots. And uh, really fun. But, uh, okay. I just want to try on something that's more consistently, like with a coda or something that you would see on points lobbies. But uh, this is. It fucking needs more power, man. I might just say fuck it and make it our class. I really don't want to. Like, more pr principles. But, like, also, why have a car that doesn't work, right? Um. You know, what's the point of making a car that's not good? Like I said, I'm going to upload this version of, this, of the tune because I'm pretty happy with the setup. Here's a true test. Can I be relatively smooth around this corner? You got to be careful. Like when you're at high angle, you got to be careful when you get on the gas because it's just it just goes. Um, I figured there I could like pull the front end out a little bit with the, with the throttle, but the car just like hooked up and went. 
um, because it's a speed boy, but, um, I mean, he had, like, 50 horsepower. Because fourth gear works, and then you shift up to fifth, and it's just nothing. Um, I'm going to tighten all three of our, the tight gears, so we'll go fifth. Make that, we'll move that down a little bit. We'll move that to, like, 110, and then we'll move that to, like, 95. We'll see how that works. I really hope I don't need to be in sixth gear. Oh, look at the fucking fifth is gross. There you go. 105, 95. That's better. I was like, look at the transmission ratio. That just looks dumb. I didn't even look at the graph. Then I looked at the graph. These corners are fun. I enjoy these corners. I don't know. This track's just really fun. Uh, I understand why people do national because it's like a staple of Forza and it's a staple of real life drifting too, which I did not know until like the longest time, until like a couple of years ago that it was a D1 uh, layout. I was like, nah, it's gotta be like the BDC or whatever. I was like, nope, it is a fucking D1 layout. Uh, D1 went to Silverstone, like, a couple of times, or once. I don't know too much. I don't know too much about drifting from another country that was in a country that wasn't mine. <laughs> like, I'm sure someone, in the, again, English, in the comments, like, you what? He was here in this year, this year, you, you bell end? Uh, yeah, you right. Like, um, it's funny because I made this card because a British YouTuber. <laughs> An English YouTuber, even more, even more specific. But it's this setup wise is pretty fucking set. Um, again, I'm sure someone could get it to handle better and like drive better and be a better drift car all around. But uh, I really enjoy the way this feels. Like it's really fun for me to drive. Um, it slides out a bit wide sometimes, but I think again that I think that is just a mid engine thing. Uh, that's not me just lying just so you guys think that the car is done. I think that You know this car set. I think the gears finally work. Can I get this to enter? Yep. Use the curb brake and then gas. I Had to guess there when to get on the gas. I couldn't see the apex. So I was like whatever cool and uh, I got it right. Yay But uh, this I haven't really Suffered any other than like Chronic I need more horsepower and there's too much grip over the rear tires I haven't really suffered any of that um, min-engined issue that I normally get, where it's just like, it just doesn't feel right. It feels off. And I mean, like, it does feel off, but, like, not at one point I was like, wow, this car sucks, you know? Um, it definitely feels like a car that I will use every now and again um, when I'm playing with friends or playing with you guys or whatever. But uh, it feels like something like a Viper... That kind of thing, where I'm like, hey, I feel like pulling out something that's, like, ridiculous and, uh, you know, real-life expensive and, like, a supercar. So, normally, more people would pull out a Corvette or a Viper or maybe, like, a 575 Ferrari, um, that kind of thing. Uh, this is definitely a contender for that. So, personally, if you've ever wanted to drift mid-engine, you ever wanted to drift an XJ220, I think this is a good setup. Again, I'm sure someone else out there is, I can do better, and I'm sure you can. This, I like it. this for me. That entry was cool. That was cool and nice. I enjoyed it. But, um, honestly, uh, I'm gonna make two versions. You guys don't really need to see the one that has more power, because it's just gonna be the same with more power. Um, I'm gonna post this one, and then I will probably add about 50 horsepower and, uh, post that one as well. Um, if you guys want to download them, please, I would appreciate it. Gets me them heckin' downloads, so them heckin' boys can see my heckin' tunes and go who the heck is this and then they see the hex i don't know i don't know i just like it when see i see people using my tunes and downloading it makes me feel useful and wanted unlike you know in real life can i do it can i do it ah uh, no i gotta do it now i didn't mean to turn around but like i need to do a 360 or i won't be happy i have an idea i'm gonna attempt it uh i'm gonna make an attempt and this is how we'll end the video no, I know it's kind of rambly. I didn't make any jokes. I wasn't funny. I was just like, I want to make this car good for my boy Jim's, and because uh, I feel like he thought, he thought that I couldn't do it. Uh, way too fast, Arrow. Way too fast. That's gonna fuck up what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, we're way offline. I'm gonna reverse just to. That's the only thing is that because there's more weight over the rear, the rear just kind of like travels differently. Like it handles very similar to an uh, FR. But, like, just the way the car carries itself. It's something that I can't really feel in the controller. Um, maybe you can feel it on a wheel. I don't know. But on a controller, 
I can't really feel that weight. Oh, the grass kind of screwed us there. No! Shot. Again, camera. The camera just kind of screwed me because I'm out, out of car. I'll try going in car. Nope. I just rewinded to a really shitty place. The you break. Get the clutch. Stop. <laughs> it was better the first time. Okay. Let's back all the way up. Back it 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 up. And all right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And turn in. E brake. Kick the clutch. Oh, I don't like that. Three sixties are so easy. It just like I don't know. Getting one right is easy. Getting one perfect is is the tricky part. Fuck it, I'll take that. But thank you guys very much for watching, I appreciate it. Please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to see me do more drifting shenanigans. Uh, I'm going to try to break into other stuff on Forza, just because I don't want to do just drifting. I feel like I'm putting myself into a box. Even though it's too late, I'm already in that box. Um, but I'm just going to try to, you know, diversify my content in, in like keywords and business words. You know, we're on that way to 30k, so we'll get there, you know, probably in three years. <laughs> Uh, you know, it took us like two years to get off of 25, so <laughs> not your, it's not your fault. I'm not blaming you guys. I'm just making jokes. So I'm, you know, okay with my crippling depression, but, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, go check me out on social media and I'll see you in the next one. And 360. There we go. That's kind of okay. Take care. Peace.